Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, EngineeringShock.com will be back by the end of next week. Uh, I just wanted to show off a few different modifications you can make to our six-digit six clock kit, 24-hour clock kit. It also has the uh, countdown timer function, the alarm set function, and the uh, stopwatch function. Right now, it currently employs a 5-volt regulator, a 78L05 5-volt regulator. But this 5-volt regulator can't uh, sustain uh, 12 volts DC at your input. It gets too hot and eventually it'll just destroy itself. The bigger brother here, the 7805, can handle upwards of an amp. So you can use 12 volts, you can use uh, 18 volts, you can use 20 volts. Uh, as long as you have more than 7 volts, 7 to 20 volts DC at the input, this will work just fine. But we have to make a modification because the 7805 does not fit into the uh, regulator footprint. So when you get this kit, build it up. Don't put the 78L05 in. Uh, if you have a 7805 and you want to use a higher voltage, I'm going to show you how to do that. As well, you may have noticed that I have not placed my current limiting resistors for the segments, and I have not placed the current limiting resistors for the LED colons. Now we're going to experiment with those values in a minute because some customers want that the LEDs to be uh, dim, some want to be bright. If you want these LEDs to be bright, you use what comes with the kit. The colon LEDs are limited by uh, 2K ohm resistors, and the seven segments are uh, limited by 220 ohm resistors. We're going to play around with some different values, and you can choose, uh, if you have some extra resistors lying around, how you want to modify it. First thing you want to do is cut off uh, a good portion of the 7805 legs. Sorry if the picture isn't great here, um, but as you might be able to see, is I've cut off about half of the legs. Now you want to add uh, a fair amount of solder to each of the pins. Now be careful that you don't do any shorting here. You're going to want to make sure that there's no shorts along the three wires. But what I've done is I've soldered a red wire to the left pin, which is your voltage in, so 12 volts, say, or 12, 7 to, 7 to 18 volts. Your middle pin, uh, I've placed a, a black wire indicating negative or ground, and a yellow wire, which indicates a regulated 5 volts. As you can see, I've got my little, little 78L05 here. We can take that out of the equation. Now we're going to solder that to the board. Place my uh, input voltage pin on the very uh, outer regulator pin, uh, or rather from this perspective on the leftmost regulator pin. My black will go in the middle regulator pin and my regulated 5 volts yellow will go on the rightmost regulator pin closest to the first segment. I've now got my uh, my, modif my modified 5 volt regulator and my two power leads. So I'd place my 7 to 18 volts on here. Now we're going to mess with the LEDs powered it up and uh, what I've done is I've placed a 6K8, a 6.8 thousand ohm resistor on the left and a the default 2K on the right and then those are the uh, the resistors that control the current going to those LEDs. Now the ones on the right as you can see are uh, quite a bit dimmer than those on the left. If you want it to be even dimmer you can place probably about an 8K here or an 8K for both of them but you can play around and, and really uh, determine which uh, you know which values work for you. You know, you, some people are going to want it really dim. Some people are going to want it brighter. Uh, very bright. You should stick to the standard components to come with the kit. In which case, it would be 2K for both of the current limiting resistors. But you can you can dim them by increasing it uh, up to about probably 10K ohms. The left uh, set of colons are being current limited by a 10k ohm resistor in this case, and the right uh, is being current limited by a 2k ohm resistor. And you can visibly see the difference even on the camera. But uh, from where I'm standing, it's even more significant than what the camera's picking up. So let's move on to the segments. Right now, I've actually got this device powered at 18 volts, and it's being regulated down to 5 volts with our strong 78L or 7805. But what I'm going to do is, just for the sake of making this kit complete, I'm going to remove this 10K ohm resistor and place the default 2K. So when I power back up, 
when you uh, you're going to see it as bright as the, as the right hand side. I've installed four of the seven resistors that control the segments. Uh, so you're not going to see all of the segments lit up. You're going to see the top four lit up depending on what number the clock has allocated to it. Now they're all being multiplexed. So each resistor controls current to a segment. So uh, this resistor might control this segment, this segment, and this segment. What we're going to do is we're going to see up to four segments lit up on all of them and we're going to be able to immediately determine which uh, which of the segments has the stronger uh, resistor. Now the stronger, the default resistor is 220 ohms and uh, I've installed a 2k ohm on the left two. So let's see. Yep. You can see that this segment and this segment they're not lit up. The bottom segment isn't lit up here. Here you go. Yeah, this is the bottom segment, or the middle segment and the left segment have the strong, or have the weak resistor, the 220 ohm resistor, and the uh, top and the upper right have the 2k ohm resistor. So I'm going to turn off the light, and there you go. Much dimmer. You can uh, you can experiment with these values yourself, and. Uh, I'm thinking it'll work probably pretty well up to about 3K, but it'll be pretty darn dim. But I hope that makes a bit of sense to you. If you want to modify it so it's a little, little bit less distracting, uh, I'm just turn up back, turn my light back on. Yeah, so that's it. I'm going to be uh, remodifying this back so it's a fully built uh, kit, uh, built in the way that I meant it to be. But uh, yeah, so this just goes, it gives you an idea of how you can play with this kit and kind of make your own little custom modifications. Now, I'd like to mention one more thing. You do not have to place uh, long wires on your 7805. It won't fit by default into the footprint, but you can add short wires so it's not flying around like this. But if it is flying around like this, you can, uh, you can just hot glue it to something. Uh, even if, as long as it's insulated to the bottom of the board. But you have to realize that the back of the 7805 is your ground. So you don't want that shorting against anything. But that's just an option. Anyway, uh, I hope you found this helpful. Sorry if it wasn't my most professional video, but uh, regardless, I hope you liked it and I hope you found it helpful. Thanks.